How's it going everybody? It's Sick here back again with TA3 Productions and Vindictive Gaming and today we actually have the inside of the modern build that I was working on so I hope you guys really enjoy this and um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it so the first thing we're gonna actually add is a small little extra piece on the very back side it's basically going to be a elevator it's gonna be one of the water elevators with signs so it should be pretty easy to make and if you don't know how to make one I'll teach you how to do it so the first thing I start with is usually a glowstone on the bottom the glowstone will give your room a lot of light and it looks really nice together with just anything so I always put a glowstone on the bottom and at the very very top so what we're gonna do is use the same design on the the house we're gonna go out to with uh, every color block that the house has on the side on the bottom here we're gonna go ahead and go with some uh, clay just to clean it up a bit you can actually put it underneath there so it looks like it's hanging off but if you're on like a flat land you actually don't even need this layer because it will already be on top of the land so you probably don't have to worry about that one and we're going to go ahead and go up two with the clay and then we're going to go up one with the snow like you see right here on the house and then we're going to go all the way back up with the clay again and what we're actually going to do is go past the doorway the doorway is actually set for the very top of the room so it's on the regular floor it doesn't go up one or it doesn't do anything it's fancy and then at the very top we're going to go ahead and end it off with the glowstone like i said before and then we're going to go ahead and go with clay around the bottom and then we're going to go ahead and go with these stone slabs. The stone slabs will make it look nice. It kind of looks like a chimney, but it's not. It's a water elevator. And uh, you can go ahead and put these stone slabs all the way around it, and it will look nice. And uh, there you go. See? Now you have a nice little water elevator. Nothing too fancy. No redstone even needed. It's awesome. Okay, next we're actually going to go ahead and go inside of the guts of the elevator. If you don't know how to build a water elevator, like I said, I'm going to teach you. But it's very simple. All you're going to need is some signs and some buckets of water, and um, it'll be pretty nice. So as you guys can see, the very, very top just goes to the floor level. And um, I'm actually not going to actually show you how to build the top area, just because I want you to design that part for yourself. On this here, I'm going to go ahead and change that sign to have like elevator on it. So if you want to do that right now, you can. And what we're going to do with the signs is basically go every other block. And in, in the middle of the two signs, you're going to put a uh, water block. And um, that will make you like swim up, but it will go fast. And then once you get out of the water, it uh, makes you go faster for some reason. And um, going down, it's about the same speed, so you're not getting anything there. But going up, you will definitely see the difference. So here, there you go. There's a nice little example. <laughs> of course, you got to get up there. And um, here's your room. And then, like I said, you're going to go ahead and design that however you want. I'm not going to dictate how you do that. So on the bottom here, I'm just going to change the sign to elevator just because sometimes people don't see it. and They're like, what is that? So we're just going to name it really fast. This is something you can do or you can't do. It's really up to you. Uh, I just like doing it just to let people know that, hey, there's an elevator here. You want to take this all the way up? Go ahead. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And um, I was actually going to add a door right there. But as you can see, you can't put a uh, pressure plate on top of the uh, glowstone. So we decided, decided to go ahead and skip that step. And um, as you see here, I am changing the name to elevator and it looks great. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the floor of the floor of the building. As you guys can see, I just changed all my floor out. So what you're going to have to do is remove all the blocks that you had down for your floor. You don't actually have to use this actual pattern I'm using. But if you are following me, I'm going to go ahead and go with the, uh, the, like, the stitching pattern. I don't know if you want to call this like a weaving pattern, but it's pretty nice. We're going to use the regular wood blocks, the ones we first had. Then we're going to go ahead and cross them every other block. So it's going to leave a nice little checkered pattern. And on, on the inside of these blocks, as you see the holes, we're actually going to go with the very, very light um, wood block. I'm not actually sure the name of it actually gonna be the I don't know I just call it the very light one and then the middle one we use the first step and then on the next step we're actually gonna use a dark wood so the dark wood is actually gonna go where the two light woods not the light light wood the regular wood I wish I would have knew these names but um where the middle is so as you can see you can see some crosses here this is where it would cross in the future and um, we're just gonna go every cross and then we're gonna put the dark wood there and it will give your like your floor a nice feeling not just the simple wood feeling it will just it'll give it some pizzazz I guess you can say so you can kind of see what it would replicate here with the darkness of the ground underneath it but um, we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and fill all this in with the dark wood and then as you guys can see it looks like a nice little stitching pattern something that you usually don't see in a lot of houses because people don't want to take the time to do it but once you do it, it looks great and fantastic so we're gonna go ahead and skip this and do the whole inside of the building Alright, so here we go. We can see we just finished it. Now it looks great. I know it's kind of dark in here. I do apologize for that. But um, 
we'll go ahead, go ahead and put some lights in later. I'm not a person to put a lot of uh, torches down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and like map out the uh, bathroom here. On this side, we're gonna actually put the like the um, we're just gonna lay it out. So over here we have the sink, we have the bathroom, and we have the toilet. This is actually gonna be five blocks out from the actual wall, and uh, we'll be on this wall that we're building right here. And then we're gonna use the same design and the whole house. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but we're actually using the snow and the clay again and in, in the future we're actually going to move this door over so it will be closest to the wall on the other side alright so now we're going to go ahead and work on the actual like uh, countertop slash bar area slash eating area because we are a bachelor or a bachelorette and uh, we don't have tables I mean we'll put a table down in the future but we're going to be sitting at bars having a nice little bar and grill okay now we're going to add some overhanging this is just going to be some for some nice little touchy feely then then kind of things will make it look a little bit more nicer and uh, we're actually going to pull it out one more so we can actually add some um some utilities underneath the uh, bar area so we're actually going to scoot it out one more and then remove the original one we had there and then oh i gotta replace that real fast okay this is actually going to be regular wood here and then at the very top we're going to extend this as well so you have the overhang matching up perfectly. And this is where I moved the door like I said earlier. Um, it does really matter to me what you do with it but um, I liked it on the like farther edge because this is where you're going to be eating. You don't want people coming out of the bathroom like running right into you so that's why I did that. Now we're going to go ahead and add some utilities behind the counter of the bar because this is where we're going to cook. This is where we're going to drink some beer or some water drinks or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah this is where you're going to drink your and eat your food. So. I actually like to add the um, the trap doors to make it look like an actual bar. It looks pretty nice. Gives it a nice little touch that you kind of sometimes don't see. All right, so now we're adding the utilities. We're, you can add whatever you want. I usually just add the furnace. Then I'll add like the like crafting table. And then I'll add some just some containers or some chests and stuff like that. I actually removed that thing, so I'm actually gonna put that back later. But um, don't worry about that right now. So we're actually gonna go ahead and add some seats on the outside you can use whatever kind of seats you want I usually like to use the the uh, nether brick seats because it makes it look like nether not nether leather it's just something you want to think about when you're creating stuff like that like if you use regular wood it kind of looks bad on a wood floor that's why I don't usually like to do it and to make it feel a little bit more nicer and together with the floor I'll go ahead and put some signs in the back I use I love using signs I'll put signs just about anywhere I can possibly can get my hands on and uh, we'll go ahead and add a light here because I know it is kind of getting dark. And then the light looks good like because you don't actually see it when you're standing outside of the bar. If you're inside the bar, of course you're going to see the light. But um, it gives it a nice touch like, hey, it's really lit up in there, but you don't see any of the glowstone. So it's pretty nice like that. And on the top here, since we're going to be eating here, we're going to add some plates. You know, this is something that you usually don't see. But um, it's something that you want to put in. You want to impress your friends or whoever you're going to show this to. And like, hey, you want to sit down and eat? You know, you got a plate here ready for you. Let's go. Alright, so with that done, we're going to go ahead and add some small minor details. Like I said, I love to add signs. Signs just do something with me. I don't know what it is. They, it is something that makes it feel nice and 3D and it just gives it a nice feel. So I added this in the middle. You can like add some like uh, name tags if you want to. It'll make it look pretty nice. But um, I'm not going to actually do that on this one. But um, it would be nice. And I'm actually going to put them up here too. Like I said, you don't want any of the objects to feel out of place. Since we're using a lot of wood floors... I love using small little wood features to bring into the modern feel so everything looks united it looks nice together and then you can add them here this is kind of overdoing it in my opinion because now that I look back on it uh, it doesn't look too good but um you could do what you want like I said um, it's all up to you this is all preference so on this side we're gonna go ahead and add some small tables like I said we are in a dining room so we do need some sort of table I'm actually going to use the regular just uh, piston here we're going to put some redstone right underneath it so they're always lit. You don't ever have to use anything else. And on the side here, we're actually going to add the regular nether brick uh, staircase. So it's a nice little feeling of the seats. You know, it looks nice. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to add some small little details of the house. This is something you can add. If you have like a small little area and it's like, wow, what do I put there? You can go ahead and put some plants in there. Plants really give your build some nice life. You go ahead and put some... Um, water in a cauldron and then you can add a fencing and then you can add some leaves on the top so it's really nice over here we added a nice little jukebox here it's very simple to make all you gotta do is put two jukeboxes in the middle on the top here you can add some like stone on the sides we have two uh, pieces of snow we're actually gonna change this to snow right now and then on top of the snow we're gonna add two glass panes 
And then on the back side, we're actually going to add a painting so it looks like a jukebox, like a, a display for the jukebox. And something that's kind of clever that you see people do is you can add a sign and then you can put whatever you want on it, but it can make it like a pattern. So as you can see, we're going to put a crap ton of ads. On the two side ones, we're actually going to put uh, only three. Uh, we're going to remove three so it doesn't go off of the sign. Sometimes you'll see that if you go too far. So we're actually going to remove... We're gonna put them all the way across and then remove three on the two outside ones. On the two inside ones, you're gonna leave them all the way across. So there you go. It's a nice little something that you just kind of sometimes don't see. And then on the sides here, we're gonna add some trap doors to make it look like some speakers or something. And um, it just gives it a nice little feel and touch. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the actual living area. As you guys can see, we did add a small carpet here. I do recommend using the glowstone because the glowstone will give your, your room a nice little glow. But you also don't have to add too many lights in here so it gives it nice. I did try to add some small little love seats here but I didn't like the way they looked. If you want to keep them there you can but that's totally up to you. I do recommend not using them because it's kind of weird walking into the back of a couch of your house. So I decided to go ahead and remove those. It's pretty simple. Uh, just logic here. And on the sides of these couches I'm going to add some signs like I always do. You always want to have like the little um, the handle on the side. You'll see a lot of people do this. Sometimes you actually see people use like the item frame and then you put a button inside of it so it looks like it's like the side of the couch that's actually a pretty cool technique as well. But um, for me I love using signs and then we're just going to remove this one off the back of the seat here because uh, we want our couch to fill all together and that one, you know, that's just a small seat there. It's nothing too fancy. And there you go. So now we have a nice feeling and it's kind of dark in here so we're actually going to try to add some light by um, adding some windows here to our left. Also in the middle here we're actually going to add a nice little like coffee table. And um, you could use whatever material you want, but I did like the uh, stone slabs because uh, we did use these a lot, so it looks really nice like that. And then, yeah, so it looks great. Nice little living area, nothing too fancy, nothing too, like, crazy that's going to take your eye away from the actual house. Okay, so as I said before, we're going to go ahead and try to add some natural light to this room by adding some windows to this far wall over here. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to use glass panes or glass. Like I said before, I totally love using glass panes when it's necessary because I usually don't like to use the corner for glass unless I'm building like a glass um, this sculpture or something. So uh, glass panes usually works as long as you don't make a corner spot. So to make it even here, I'm going to add a big window. It's going to be what, four or five blocks wide. And um, we're going to have the two single windows on the side here with just two and then we're gonna one two three four and then four by two for the middle so it'll be nice and even and symmetrical for those people that love to be like me um, I cannot have a room that's not symmetrical so I love adding like that it's a little off so now we're gonna go ahead and add the front door because uh, we've been pushing this off for a while but now I think we have what we want and then um, we're gonna add the single door so if you don't know how to make two doors work with one um, pressure plate you put one on the inside and one on the outside I know it kind of makes sense doesn't look good but um, they both open with one pressure plate so it looks really nice when you walk through it and then, um, bam it's a little different it kinda looks cheap sometimes but um, I love the way it looks and uh, that's one of my favorite things to do so over here on the right side I think we're gonna add a nice little lamp lamps are pretty easy to make you just put something any material down and then we're actually going to use the actual um, brewing stand with a glowstone on the top with a panning covering the glowstone and then we'll also have a trapdoor on top of that to uh, really make it look really nice. So it's something that you don't see a lot, but um, I love looking through like uh, furniture that people do. Like there's a website that's called um, MinecraftFurnitures.net. They have some awesome just furniture in there. It's great. It's a very nice website. I really, really, really recommend you checking it out if you're having trouble thinking some, of some stuff for the uh, interior designs. I use it a lot in uh, my mansion and. Uh, I wanted to give them some credit, they do some awesome things on that website. Alright, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump to the um, bathroom here. The bathroom is really nice. On the right side over here, we're going to put a bathtub. And uh, real quick, I'm going to skip forward because I don't want you to see how to build a bathtub. Everybody knows how to build a bathtub. Go down to add some glowstone and add some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and skip right here. This is what it should look like once it's done. We have some nice just windows here. We have a nice little lever on the top. We have a button for the uh, bathtub. And um, on the side here, we're actually going to add some small little soap holders, something that a lot of people don't think of when you're building uh, some small things like that. Everybody has their bathroom. Look, go look in your bathroom. Look to the right. 
or on the side of your bathroom to the wall there's always like a little soap holder there so a lot of people will overlook that so now we're gonna go to work on these sinks the sinks are pretty easy to make as well we're just gonna put some cauldrons down fill them up with water and add some levers on top of them now something I didn't do on mine that I will recommend you doing is putting some glass panes on top of the levers here and then on the very top of the glass panes put some uh, stone slabs it'll make it look like a mirror I didn't do that in mine but um it'll look nice anyways let's go ahead and work towards our grand throne this is going to be our toilet on the toilet I usually like to go up a layer or down a layer because uh, the cauldron is kind of big and is demanding when you're looking at it as a person it looks kind of high if you just put it on a regular ground so I love putting it underneath uh, some slabs what we're gonna do is just go with the regular the re regular pattern sorry and um, we'll go ahead and fix it up like this just going up one layer with these slabs as I said before um, it makes your toilet look really nice I know it's kinda weird to say that but um on the middle here we're gonna add our toilet we're actually going to go with a staircase behind it this is what you usually do if we had a uh, up and down staircase it'll look a little better but I like it with the regular staircase and then we're gonna go ahead and put any block that you want right here I'm gonna use snow because it goes with the build and then we're gonna go ahead and put a cauldron down and fill it up with water as we did with the sinks and anything else in the house that had a cauldron, fill it up with water and then we're going to go ahead and put a trap door on top of that, a uh, pressure plate on top of the regular block, oops sorry here, just didn't want to overflow it, we need a, we need a plumber, I'm just kidding, um, fill it up with water, put a trap door and put a pressure plate on the top and a button on the side, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real quick, we're going to go ahead and put pressure plate on the top, a uh, trap door on the side, I mean on the top and then uh, the button on the side so there we go nice little thing and then on the side here we'll go ahead and add some like shelving kind of thing on the inside later I'm gonna change this to a um to some chest so we can have some like nice storage it looks like storage but we'll actually have some storage and then we'll go ahead and add some overhang cabinets and I'm um, usually see this in houses so it looks very great and then on the inside here like I said before I'm gonna go ahead and add some nice little chest so we can put some paper in there to make it simulate uh, toilet paper so be nice like that so this room needs to be secluded so we're gonna go ahead and add or uh, remove the window sorry and uh, it does get a little bit darker in here so on the top here we're gonna add a nice little um, skylight it's not actually gonna be a full skylight it's actually not gonna give us light at all it's more for a feature that you can see just gonna add some regular glass not the panes and then on top of that we're actually gonna go with the stone slabs and then it'll be a nice 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 little feature on the top for a skylight alright so as you guys can see putting the stone slabs on the top looks great something that you like I said don't see a lot I did say that a lot I do apologize I do say a lot of things I do I do apologize for that so this is the inside of the house it looks great we're gonna go ahead and add some nice little glowstone features underneath the sinks because glowstone does go through a cauldron so you can add that anywhere in the house if you put a cauldron down put a glowstone underneath it to give the room lighting I'm actually gonna put it under the toilet you could have put it under the sinks if you wanted to you could put it anywhere you want anyways guys this is wrapping up our build for the inside if you have any questions I will uh, answer those in the comment section below I'm usually really good at answering questions and um yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this we're gonna add a door to finish it up but as you guys can see our throne is lit up the restroom looks great we have a nice little shower and toilet and sink and uh, bathtub so anyways I have been sick on the six. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, um, let me know. Also, for the up top, you can make it whatever you want. Make it great. Use some of my builds. Use some of my ideas. Anything you want. So, I have been sick on the six. And until next time, guys, later.